Hi, I'm Paul Holmes. I'm the RF and Microwave Applications Engineer for Amritsu, working for the Engineering Technology Group in EMEA. So today's presentation is just a brief overview of the new MA24400A series peak power sensors from Amritsu. So the USB microwave peak power sensors address challenges faced by design engineers analysing pulse signals, enabling better characterised waveforms, high quality products, reducing the cost of tests and future proofing investments. These sensors, the MA24400A, are the performance leaders in USB RF and microwave peak power measurement, offering industry leading performance with the widest video bandwidth, the fastest rise times, finest time resolution, smallest pulse widths, highest pulse repetition rates and superior measurement reading rates. And in addition, the MA24400A series sensors incorporate unique real-time processing of power measurements. The family has five sensors in total, with frequency coverage from 50 megs up to 40 gigs, with an industry best video bandwidth of up to 195 megs, giving users the ability to accurately measure the amplitude of pulses as narrow as one nanosecond, as well as peak power of wideband signals like 802.11ac. Accompanied by a new Anritsu Peak Power Analyzer software suite, users can measure CCDF, peak to average power ratio, pulse width due to cycle and much, much more. So this video is going to talk about some of the measurements that we can do using the Peak Power Analyzer software, which is available free on the Anritsu website. Uh, and we're going to do some pulse measurements. So first of all, we just connect it up via the USB on your PC. And you'll notice that the LED starts to flash. Now this one is flashing from green and yellow, which means that it's triggered and we're good to go. Now Anritsu does various flavors peak power sensors, uh, USB, all the way from six gigs all the way up to 40 gigs. The six gigs, so it has a precision end type connector and the 40 gigs has a precision 2.92K connector. So the first thing that we do is we invoke the Peak Power Analyzer software, which we've previously downloaded. And because we connected the USB power sensor, it's recognized it down here, the model number and the serial number. Under the new virtual power analyzer, we check the select box and we select that's the uh, power sensor that we're going to use. And you can have up to eight uh, sensors under this virtual power analyzer. So uh, now everything's good. We're all ready and we're good to go. So first of all, I'm going to set up a fast rise time pulse, um, pulse period 100 microseconds with a width of 0 0.5 uh, microseconds uh, with some attenuation in it. So just that we've got a signal that we can see. So here we have the pulse measurement on the pulse power analyzer. And you can see that we're automatically triggered and we're in trace view. Now, Anritsu provides a powerful complementary advanced measurement analysis software called PPA, Anritsu Peak Power Analyzer. And unlike other alternative power measurement software, PPA is provided with all features standard and doesn't require a license option to be purchased and is available to be freely distributed to workstations where needed. So users can use the automatic measurement feature to instantly get 16 pulse parameter measurements, shown here on the left hand side. From the measurements, the industry leading rise time of three nanoseconds we can see here. Measurements are made at an industry leading sample rate of 100 mega samples per second and 10 giga samples effectively with random interleaved sampling. And combining the fast sample rate with the fast rise time, the USB peak power sensor can uniquely measure signals with pulse widths as narrow as 10 nanoseconds. So another application is IFF secondary radar. Uh, measurement. So here we've just set up a, uh, a burst pulse and we're going to measure this on the peak power analyzer. So here's the uh, pulse on the peak power analyzer that we've just set up, the burst. You can see the, the burst of pulses here. If we use the auto measurement function, we've got multiple pulse analysis. So under pulse count, we can see number of 14 pulses that it's counted. We can see the pulse width of each uh, pulse here and we can also see the pulses positioned relative to each other here. And horizontal markers 
can identify level changes in pulses within the waveform too. So in mission critical applications, pulse anomalies and dropouts can't be tolerated. So I've just set up a, a demo pulse source here with some, some dropouts and some anomalies in the pulse. We're going to see what that looks like on the peak power analyzer. So here you can see the pulse with some dropouts. With Anritsu's unique real-time processing of power readings, it provides unique parallel processing technology to capture, display and measure every pulse. There's virtually no measurement latency, no missed events, no gaps in data, with high-speed analysis with 100,000 measurements per second. So therefore, in summary, the MA24400A series sensors are the performance leaders in USB RF and microwave peak power measurement, offering industry-leading performance with the widest video bandwidth, fastest rise times, finest time resolution, smallest minimum pulse widths, highest pulse repetition rates and superior measurement reading rates. Models up from 50 megs to 40 gigs, 195 MHz bandwidth, real-time processing of power readings, full pulse profiling, crest factor, CCDF and statistical measurements using our peak power analyzer software.